I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today with Shake Up Learning to introduce you to the ultimate Jamboard replacement, Big Jam. And I'll show you how your favorite apps and websites work in Fig Jam. Just to introduce you, like Jamboard, you have a toolbar, lots of cool things you can do with markers, sticky notes, so many shapes, text, sections, you'll see sections in a minute, tables, and even stamps for reactions and emotes just to share a reaction that does not edit the actual Fig Jam. Additionally, there's a share button just like in Jamboard or Google Docs. And there's a nice little way to navigate. Well, one, we have our hand tool to navigate. And we also have a wonderful zoom down here. So if we go down here, we can get all the way zoomed out. And then we can get all the way zoomed in. Let's get zoomed in and let's talk for a minute about Google Docs. Yes, we all use Google Docs. And guess what? We can edit them right in Fig Jam. So if I click on this here, I get click on view. I get this little preview here, not super useful, but watch what happens when I click maximize. And look, there I am as an editor in the Google Doc because it's been set to anyone with the link can edit. You can also use it for anyone with the link can view, but you can edit your Google Doc without leaving Fig Jam. And all you have to do in Google Docs is click your share button, get copy your link, and then you just paste it into Fig Jam. That's how these will all go. I'll show you if it's a little different based on the app. So let's go down to Google Slides. We all use Google Slides, right? Well, guess what? We can view and edit those as well, same as Docs, right there in Fig Jam. The initial preview, not super useful, but then when we click Maximize, we are right there. And again, we can edit right in Fig Jam without ever leaving. Let's go down to YouTube. Yes. YouTube videos work in Fig Jam. So if I click play, I'm not sure you'll hear this, but you can actually play it right here. Days after Britain declared war in 1914, the suffragette Mrs. Emily. Additionally, Pankhurst you can maximize it for a bigger view. And millions of And war. when you play it, your collaborators don't hear it. They get to play it at their own pace as well. So it's a nice little thing for collaboration. Multiple students can watch the YouTube video at their own pace in the same Fig Jam. Then Google Books and Gram Viewer. Have you ever played with Google Books and Gram Viewer? It is so much fun. It is a wonderful tool and you can see we can interact with it here. Let me go back, maximize there. And what it is, is it's a tool to look at how many times certain terms are used in books written from 1500 to 2019. And so I set this one from 1900 to 1930 with some World War I era vocabulary terms. And we can talk to our students and have them investigate. Why did suffrage go up so much in this time? And why do these all go down except for nationalism, which keeps on going up? Really good for inquiry and questioning with your students. And it works in Fig Jam. Once I'm in a Google Ngram uh, viewer, all I have to do is click share and click the embed and copy and then paste that into Fig Jam and it will work just like that. All right, let's keep going with NPR. So if you teach anything, current events, social studies, science, English language arts, there is so much content on NPR that you can have your students. This Sunday marks a hundred years since the end of World War One. Listen to it is a war that right marked many firsts among in Big Jam. So they can listen. They don't even have to have the player really maximize. They can listen to it right here, and then they can respond to a prompt as I have students doing here. In NPR, all you do is go to this button on your audio file and click that and copy paste it into your Fig Jam. So, so easy. ThingLink, love me some ThingLink. A wonderful tool for adding hotspots, doing virtual tours. ThingLinks that are pasted into Fig Jam, check this out, they work. And so you can interact with them, you can watch YouTube videos embedded in them. It all works in Fig Jam. How cool is that? Next one, Felt Maps. Felt.com is a relatively new web-based mapping app. And when you paste a share link from Felt, guess what? It shows up in Fig Jam. Now this is a really small one there, but we can click maximize. And now in the map, 
I can zoom in and see all that we've done. And Felt is really nice because it allows you and your students to draw on maps, to add images, to add YouTube videos. And again, if you have a map you want your students to look at, you can paste that link into FigJam and they never leave the FigJam. How nice is that? All right, couple more, Canva. In Canva, all you have to do is share your project and we'll share a public view link, create it, copy it, and then you paste it and it will look like this. And you'll see here, there's a nice preview that your students can navigate in a Fig Jam. But again, they can also click the maximize button. And when they click that maximize button, they can navigate in here as well, this way as well. So Canva, nice one. One last one. Guess what works for single tab learning in Fig Jam? Fig Jam itself. Yes, you can make a Fig Jam turducken in your Fig Jams. So this is a different Fig Jam. If I click view and then click maximize, guess what I'm navigating right here. I can't edit it. Docs and slides you can edit. The others you can basically view or navigate. And so you see here, I can navigate this Fig Jam. And so teachers can refer to earlier learning. All you do is you click share, copy link, and then paste that into Fig Jam. If you want to know more about Fig Jam, on ShakeUp Learning, I have a blog post that explains all of what we saw here today. And it is a nice way to introduce you to Fig Jam and all the good stuff that is there. Make sure you visit ShakeUp Learning for all your EdTech PD needs. And I'm Tom Mulaney. If you want to talk more about Fig Jam and using it with students, reach out to me at Tom E. Mulaney on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy transitioning from Jamboard to Fig Jam. If you like this tip, please ring the bell and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. And if you haven't already, hop on over to shakeuplearning.com and check out all the free resources we have there. Bye, y'all.